Hello, everyone. Now that's like a skating crowd. Only appropriate. Uh, hi, everybody. Welcome to a, a great day, a great night of celebration for the Canada's Walk of Fame, also for two great towns, Ilderton and London, home of two of Canada's greatest stars. Uh, my name is Rod Black, uh, TV guy, <laughs> sports guy, football guy, hockey guy, baseball guy, nice guy, nice guy <laughs> go to guy, old guy, skating guy. <laughs> and president of the Virtue and Moyer fan club. Very happy to be here. Um, I've watched uh, these two great people uh, grow up in front of our eyes as much of Canada has through the years. Uh, I remember them when they were, I believe, 11 and 9 when we first had them on television. I was 15 at the time. <laughs> and then we watched and we had our fingers crossed that you know, things, good things would happen, and good things do happen to great people. Great things happen to great people, and I can't think of a better story uh, that has emerged in Canada in the sports scene that I've been able, fortunate to cover. I've been lucky and privileged enough to be around championships, including an NBA one recently. There you go. And a Stanley Cup one next year. <laughs> but I honestly can tell you, um, being around it and watching two people accomplish their dreams and become champions, become not only the best in their towns, in Ilderton and London, to be best in their province of Ontario, to be the best in their great country of Canada, to become best in the world, to become best of all time. Best of all time. And uh, trust me, I don't throw that stuff around uh, lightly. They are the best of all time. So we're going to celebrate tonight. You celebrated in Ilderton today, we're going to celebrate Tessa's star here in London tonight. We've got a lot of people to talk. We've got some surprises, um, and uh, we're going to have a great time. And that's what Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer have given us through so many great years. Apparently, they're coming out of retirement. I love that. That's the big announcement. I don't want to give that one away. Can't wait till I'm announcing 55-year-old Scott Moyer, 53-year-old Tessa Virtue have won the world championship. Be awesome. It'll be awesome. Anyway, we've got great sponsors as well. Thanks to Canada's Walk of Fame. Jeffrey Latimer, who has done such a terrific job for being here. All of the guests, Marie France and Patrice to be here. My great friend, Michael Slipchuk, and so many others who have gathered to celebrate stardom. To celebrate stardom. And our sponsors, including RBC and Cineplex. Please welcome, from Cineplex, Odeon. Please welcome Darren Solomon. That is a extremely hard act to follow. Uh, my name is Darren Solomon. I'm Vice President of Creative Strategy and Marketing at Cineplex Digital Media. Uh, Cineplex is a long-standing partner of Canada's Walk of Fame, and I'm honored to be here this evening uh, as we continue to celebrate the remarkable achievements of our talented Canadian peers. During my career with Cineplex, I've had the privilege of working closely with Canada's Walk of Fame to launch the Hometown Stars program across the country with a network of 165 theaters from coast to coast. We are uniquely positioned to honor Canada's most accomplished women and men in the cities they call home, which makes our sponsorship of the Hometown Stars program uh, so fitting. Most importantly, it provides another great opportunity for us to connect with the many communities in which we operate. Providing access to great content and exceptional movie-going experiences is at the heart of what we do at Cineplex. 
In addition to our long-standing partnership with Canada's Walk of Fame, we're proud to sponsor and support numerous film festivals in communities across the country. And those film festivals inspire, empower, and transform audiences through the magic of movies. But movies aren't the only way to captivate audiences. And our next hometown star recipient is a perfect example of how the power of sport can unite a nation and encourage aspiring athletes to pursue their dreams. Tessa is not only one of the most decorated Olympic figures of all time, but one of the most successful Canadian ice dancers in history. Along with her longtime partner, Scott, Tessa has broken numerous records, won countless of championship titles, and dominated the discipline of ice dancing with equal parts passion, dedication, talent, and grace and a collection of gold medals to prove it. Her contributions and achievements on the ice have helped define her sport and have earned her a place as one of our country's most beloved Olympians. We're proud to call her our own and honored, very honored, to commemorate the official unveiling of her hometown star tonight. With that, I'd like to welcome Francine Dykesterhouse from RBC. Thank you, Darren, and good afternoon, everyone. Uh, on behalf of all my RBC colleagues that are here to celebrate uh, Scott and Tessa this evening, uh, I, I'm thrilled to be representing RBC. It's an honor, an absolute honor, to be here amongst so very many proud residents of London and far beyond, I'm sure, uh, to celebrate, all here to celebrate for one, re to be here for one reason, and that's to celebrate the two of you Tessa and Scott, it's such a privilege. And to recognize your many, many accomplishments as recognized by Canada's Walk of Fame. You've captured the hearts of Canadians from coast to coast, and I know we are so proud to say that you hail from southwestern Ontario, a place that many of us in this room from RBC and I personally call home. So we're proud to call you our own, actually. We all remember watching your performance at the Olympics, at many Olympics, how proud we all are of you. And I personally um, had the opportunity to see you at the odd with my family in your Thank You Canada tour. And I have to tell you, it was absolutely magnificent. My mom was with me, we all had tears. You're so inspiring, and uh, not only do the ca you capture the heart and mind, you, you set a model and are, your role models for so many of us, and particularly young people, about what's possible. So congratulations. Thank you for representing our region and our country with unwavering professionalism and positivity. This special recognition by Canada's Walk of Fame is incredibly well-deserved, and we wish you all the best as you continue your careers. I was telling Tess, I see her on TV all the time now. RBC has been a proud supporter of Canada's Walk of Fame for more than 20 years, and we are grateful for the opportunity to be part of this important special celebration. The Walk of Fame inductees are shining examples of leadership for Canadians of all ages. No matter what they've done to earn a spot on Canada's Walk of Fame, they inspire us to excel, and to remind us that anything, absolutely anything, is possible. I'd also like to take a moment to recognize my colleague, Kathy Honor, who sits on Canada's Walk of Fame board. Unfortunately, Kathy couldn't be with us this afternoon, but she's so thrilled that so many of you could be here and so many of our RBC colleagues. Once again, Tessa and Scott, uh, it's an honor and a privilege to celebrate you, and we're hometown proud. Congratulations. Thank you to Cineplex, thank you to RBC. There is a new bank in London named the Tessa Virtue Bank. <laughs> new Cineplex Theater in Ilderton, named after Scott. It's true. Um, please welcome your mayor of London, his honor, Ed Holder. Well, thanks uh, very much, uh, Rod. I thought you were unusually articulate today. That uh, was a very nice event, and uh, your comments are appreciated. Uh, as I start with some comments, allow me to say a couple of things uh, first. Uh, 
it's important that our city council and all Londoners uh, pay tribute to this dynamic duo of London. And with me today, I'm delighted that Councillors Maureen Cassidy and, and uh, Josh Morgan and Elizabeth Pelosa and uh, Sean Lewis are here because we all want to celebrate you today especially. I had the privilege to be in Ilderton a little earlier today where they came out. Uh, uh, I'd like to say we have two heroes, uh, Tessa and Scott. They have two heroes, Scott and Tessa, so it was kind of, kind of balanced each other out, I think, very well. And I thought that was very nice. Uh, allow me if I can. This doesn't happen unless you get the kind of support that Jeffrey Latimer in Canada's Walk of Fame uh, makes a difference to make happen. And Jeffrey, I just want to say to you and to your team that makes this work, from all of us here in London, Ontario, we're just so grateful that not only do we have an amazing person that we're honoring today in, an, in this dynamic duo, but it happens because you care enough to do this. Thank you very much, sir. So when I, when I saw Jeffrey last time, it was when we hosted the Junos. Remember that little music event we had in London not so long ago? And Jeffrey was there, we had a, a nice chat, and I didn't think anything could top the Junos. And he said, it's going to take a lot to top it. And we've topped it tonight. I think this is just so, so amazing. Um, Tess and Scott, you know what? So Ilderton wants to claim Scotty, and I kind of get that, you know? I mean, <laughs> I kind of do. But I got to tell you, we, we claim them both. So, uh, and because you're part of our own. Uh, that's how we feel about both of you and the difference that you have made. But you know, the other thing that I think of is we all think of you. You do things with such humility and great grace and class. I think we could all take maybe just a little lesson and a small chapter of how you handle yourselves. You are truly grace and pressure uh, on the ice and your grace and pressure off the ice. What you do, people don't, you're not normal. I mean, people... <laughs> I mean, I, I saw the video earlier, and there may be that repeat video, and then I saw you uh, both as you spoke, and you speak with such passion and heart, and you put that on the ice, and you leave everything on the ice, and that's how we've always felt uh, that you've done. So we have to say thank you so much. Not just for, you, you not only make London proud, and we are hometown proud, to steal a line, Francine, thank you, but we are Canada proud, and we're internationally proud. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Tessa and Scott, London and Canada and the world's very best right here. Bravo. So you know that uh, in London we, uh, we call them uh, Tessa and Scott, and if you're Ilderton, it's Scott and Tessa. It's, that's just what they do. Um, and from Ilderton today we have Mayor uh, Ina David, and uh, she was so gracious to welcome me in, uh, in her uh, town. and. Uh, and uh, I'll tell you, uh, it's del we're delighted to welcome you here as we celebrate uh, Elderton's very, very best. Uh, and we know Tess and Scott as uh, community champions who genuinely care about the less fortunate and those who are more vulnerable and less able to care for themselves. And you do that through the charitable works that you have been involved with and other acts of kindness. Well, here in London and here in Elderton, we celebrate Scott and Tessa for their hearts of gold even more so than their golden medals, and we honor you for that. You know, Canada's Walk of Fame is more distinguished and better because they've included you in it. And London couldn't be prouder for the commitment that you've made. I know you're going to thank family and coaches and all of that, and properly so, but let me tell you, what you have done for our community uh, will live forever and ever. You have a legacy that lives beyond all of us, and we salute you and honor you for your grace and class on behalf of all of us, thank you from our hearts. Thank you. That was supposed to be the voice of God coming, but we heard of the voice of God, the mayor, who was unusually mayor-like today. No, no, great mayor. I like this guy. I love politicians who can speak without teleprompters. Oh wait, no, they shouldn't. Anyway, 
Mr. Mayor, those are great words uh, for two great people, as we know, uh, and some other great words uh, from this young man who has them. I guess I am the voice of Rod now. Please welcome Wally. Who knew when their story first began and when we turned the first page that two kids from Ilderton and London would take the global stage? Today is a celebration of a dream those kids had at seven and nine years old to bring home an Olympic medal made of gold. Living your dream is hard work, but it can also be fun. Today we honor Tessa and Scott for all that they have done. They brought Canada together, and we cheered them on as one. We were on that journey with them, as all of Canada had won. It doesn't matter where you come from or the clothes that you wear. When we sing our anthem proud for the flag that we bear, we watched you go for gold, and there were times we were scared, but the real gold was watching you become Canada's favorite pair. The Olympics is nothing easy, and there's been a lot on your plate like reporters always asking if you secretly date. <laughs> you both maneuvered through, and you rose to be great, and your legacy is so much more than to dance or to skate. You inspire Canada, and every kid who takes to the rink, because both of you have done it, they can do it, is what they think. They trace your trail, following the same path that you chose, and on hard days when they're bruised from their head to their toes, they remember that you did it and through hardship you rose, a muscle needs to break down before it grows. So we follow your footsteps and look to what you became, leaving a legacy for others so others can do the same. Following your passion led you to Canada's walk of fame. This is for every kid in your city that will remember your name, for every time you fell, for every struggle and every scar. Canada will always love you, coast to coast, near and far. But our roots remind us where we started, and they make us who we are, where you'll always be remembered as a hometown star. Thank you. Hi, Tess and Scott. Congratulations on your well-deserved honors. I was at the Olympics in Sarajevo in 1984, Torvalandine skating Bolero. Experts say the greatest performance in the history of ice dance. Well, that was until your spectacular performance at the 2010, the gold medal performance in Vancouver. You're great athletes, but beyond that, you're always so classy, so decent, and always so humble. You've done yourselves, London, Ontario, Ilderton, Ontario. I remember that shout out to Ilderton during the Vancouver Olympics, and you've done the country proud. Again, well deserved. Congratulations, and I am truly proud to know you both. Hi, Tessa and Scott. It's Scott Russell of CBC Sports here. Wanted to say a huge congratulations to the two of you on receiving your Canada's Walk of Fame hometown star plaques today. I know all the folks in London and Ilderton, Ontario, are very proud of you. Indeed, all of Canada is very proud. Uh, it's been an honor to follow your careers, and Canada couldn't ask for better ambassadors than the two of you. Again, congratulations. Enjoy the day, and I hope to see you soon. Hey Tessa, we so wish we could be with you today during this really important celebration in your community, celebrating all of your outstanding achievements and excellence. Um, I thought this was going to be a really easy video to record because there's really endless things I could say about why you're so amazing, um, how you inspire me, how you're an incredible role model for your community, uh, for your country and beyond. And um, I guess it really just comes down to um, your incredible determination and fire inside, work ethic, creativity, um, and then all of that wrapped into an amazing human um, who, who just sets the bar so high into who we want to be and how we want to strive um, for big dreams and big accomplishments. So uh, you've inspired me a lot in my own career 
um, and you continue to inspire me um, in, in everything that I do. So congratulations. And what a better place to be here in Vancouver to recognize your incredible contribution to sport, to Canada as an amazing role model. I mean, I've had the chance to work with so many different athletes, so many Olympic champions, and there's really nobody like, like you, like Scott, who've been so close to the people they work with, so appreciative. And you know, this award today, it's all about community, and, and that's, that's what you guys are. Yeah, you were Canada's hero, but you're really the product of your little community. And I know you're so close to everybody back home, like you were with us all along your journey. Like Jen said, we so wish we were there, but we're there with our thoughts, and we're so proud and so happy for you guys. Congratulations. Congrats. Please welcome to the stage, CEO of Canada's Walk of Fame, Jeffrey Latimer. Thank you. Thank you all for being here. It is amazing. And I want to start off by thanking my, uh, my friend Rod Black. It's great to have you here in London. Uh, you followed the careers of so, so many extraordinary Canadians and, and many journeys you've reported on and lived. And it's wonderful to have you here with your friends, Tess and Scott. Thank you as well, Mayor Ed. It was fun getting to know you at the Junos and uh, it's fun to be back. You have a great city here, so thank you. And your team has been amazing in working with us. We've, uh, we've had an easy time here and we're really, uh, we're happy that, uh, that you've been so supportive. I want to thank RBC, who have been a national partner with us. Uh, they've been great along the way, as, as they said, for 20 years. And yesterday in Sarnia, today in London, and earlier in Ilderton. You're helping us all find our someday. And so thank you, Francine, very much. And to Cineplex, you've also been a partner, an amazing partner. And now you're telling more stories on our screens and supporting <clears throat> our own special experiences in these hometowns and telling more of the stories of our inductees. So thank you, Darren, very much for your support. Yesterday, we were in Sarnia to celebrate the hometown star of Colonel Chris Hadfield. And Tessa Virtue joined us, and she was sitting in the audience. I love that you came by yesterday. I love that you came to support Chris. It's part of the magic and the power of what we're trying to build more of with Canada's Walk of Fame. The incredible power of relationships, of common bonds that tie us all together. Tessa never went to space, but her performances have been out of this world. <laughs> Chris was never thrown and spun by his partner, like Scott does with Tessa. And yet, he, like Tessa, floated in midair before making so many perfect landings. And for all of us, we all have many similar challenges on our scale. We have worked to achieve so much in our lives. We have jumped higher, fallen, gotten back up and reached for the stars, for the best that we can be. There's a common bond that ties us all together. We are all human, and we are looking to achieve something, small or great, it doesn't matter. Tess and Scott are great role models for all of us. They are kind, generous, and they give us so much hope. They allow us to believe in a bigger purpose, a common and national sense of pride, of Canadian pride. With hard work, anything is possible. And we are transforming Canada's Walk of Fame to mean more to more people more often. We are coming to the hometowns of our inductees and celebrating with their families, their friends, their teachers, their mentors, their coaches. The Walk of Fame honor is about storytelling more than it is about fame. Tessa Virtue has a lot of stories and her incredible life that is so public and so visible is far more than it's about her beauty, her smile, her glamour. That's clear on the outside. It's about what she's doing and what she's giving to so many. What is she has on the inside? She's caring, she's kind, she's a powerful woman. She's full of killer instincts, an incredible work ethic, extraordinary talent and tenacity, and a heart that is so big, so full of love and light. That's a powerful role model for young girls. And it's great that she's won so many medals and championships and stood on so many podiums. However, one of the most important elements of Tessa's success, and something that young people across this country can aspire to, actually all of us can aspire to, is the power of partnerships. 
incredible teamwork. Tessa and Scott are remarkable. And that is what makes this honour so important to London and to Canada. The power of truly working together to create greatness. By telling the stories of this partnership, we will inspire and we will empower more Canadians. Over the past 20 years, Canada's Walk of Fame has inducted 180 people and groups. And on December 1st, nine more great Canadians were inducted. Andy Kim, Andrea Martin, Leonard Cohen, Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg, Jimmy Patterson, Colonel Chris Hanfield, Hadfield, and of course, Tessa and Scott. These inductees are our teachers, they're our role models, our friends, and they're our heroes. They have worked so hard, they've had the greatest highs and lows and persevered. They've overcome obstacles and have had challenges and have become great examples of Canadian achievement. And so today I'm honoured to be here in London to unveil Tessa's hometown star. I would like to bring to the stage before we do two amazing people that are hugging right now and I love that. <laughs> um, in Tessa's lives and Scott's, their coaches. Marie-France Dubray and Patrice Lazon, please come up. Hello, everybody. Um, Patrice and I are so thrilled to be here today, uh, earlier in Scottstown and now in London here with Tessa. Uh, it's been emotional, emotional day. Um, today somebody reminded me that a couple of years ago, Patrice and I won nationals here in London, and you guys were novice or junior, I'm not sure what. But little did we know back then what was waiting for us, what was ahead. Um, Tessa and Scott, the journey to Pyeongchang went by in a flash. It was 20-something months of pure intensity and pleasure to be your coaches, to be part of your team. Um, I still see us holding hands, the four of us, before your free dance, saying, one at a time, we're all in this together. And then you were off. And then the way you position yourself for Roxanne, the way you picked in the ice and looked at each other, I knew that was going to be the moment. I knew that was going to be a perfect performance because I've seen this body language 100 times before in practice. You skated with passion and fire exactly like you do every day in practice. And I knew it was going to be the moment. You guys, I want to thank you. We want to both thank you for the impact you had on our life as coaches the impact you had on all your colleagues, all the people that worked with you, all the people that trained with you, because you bring that passion, that uh, commitment for excellence every, in every day on training. So this is how you become champions and we can be prouder of your achievements. You have five Olympic medals and you are true legends, but most of all, you are champions in your heart. I won't talk for too long because I'm really bad at this. I get emotional way too quick. Uh, <laughs> mainly I want to say thank you for trusting us with your career and and when you came to Montreal and you wanted to relearn, you told us anyway, you wanted to relearn to skate and change your life and do it in a different way. And trust us with that, that goal and your future and making us part of our team, of your team was, <clears throat> was an amazing journey. And thank you. <laughs> And Tessa, you're a special friend to me and to my family. I've loved watching you and Scott over the years, and I love supporting where I can. From your journey here in London 
to the arenas of the world, you continue to inspire, and we are grateful. We created the Hometown Star program to celebrate inductees where it all began for them and to give something back to the communities that have been part of their growth, to the people that have helped them. We are building, building stronger relationships in our communities across the country, and we want to now contribute to these people that have helped shape our inductees. So Canada's Walk of Fame is giving back to the hometowns in a charitable way. And today, we are thrilled to give $10,000 on Tessa Virtue's behalf to the London Abused Women's Centre. There are some people here today from the Centre. Where are you? That's over there. Amazing work you do. This agency provides abused and exploited women and children over the age of 12 with hope and with help. They are doing so much for women, and Tessa, this is an important place for you to support. So needed today in your hometown. Thank you. I want to also thank my team who worked so hard to make me look this good. I shouldn't say it that way. <laughs> Do I look good, not this good? Um, but thank you, Max, and thank you, Jody, Griffin, and Ashley. You guys are amazing, and I love what we do. Thank you all for coming today. We're excited to unveil this special plaque with Scott and Tessa's star on it. So, come on up here, Tessa, and unveil this plaque and bring up that guy that follows you around all the time, that little boy from Ilderton. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the greatest in the world, our friends, Tessa Virtue and Scott Moore. Mayor. Thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate you taking the time. I had the privilege of attending Colonel Chris Hadfield's ceremony yesterday in Sarnia. And not only is he brilliant and articulate, but the man can also sing. He, he's, he sang a great rendition of Space Oddity, and I thought, I mean, I don't know if we have to do an interpretive dance, but I don't know where we go. And at Scott's ceremony today, he spoke so eloquently about the influence and the impact that Ilderton has had on his career and on his life. And it was an honor to witness that. And I'm absolutely thrilled to be here with each and every one of you to celebrate this hometown star that has such meaning and significance. Uh, thank you, Jeffrey, and to the Walk of Fame for, for hosting us here. If I'm honest, when we started planning this event, a huge part of me wanted to hire some actors to pretend to be my friends and family and community members because I just felt so guilty asking anyone to spend their cherished time or energy celebrating us. I mean, you guys have spent 22 years doing just that. The guilt was so real, but I have to say that now as I look around this room and I see so many familiar faces, I'm glad. I'm glad you're real. <laughs> I'm, glad. I'm glad you're my friends. I'm glad that you are community members who are contributing uh, in such relevant ways to London. Chris mentioned yesterday, he quoted The Wizard of Oz and, and Dorothy saying, there's no place like home. And it's true, London is home. This is where my dreams began. Every part of my aspirations and my career, well, that's embedded in the fabric that is London. And it's everything that London stands for. It's inclusivity and acceptance and unconditional love. It's fairness. 
It's everything that makes me so proud to hear representing Elderton, representing London, representing Canada, Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer. I'd like to take a moment and, and thank Scott personally. I mean, we can do this on our own time, but <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> or else it would be a very, very long speech. But thank you for making it so easy to be your skating partner, your friend, and your number one fan. I was inspired by you every single day. As an athlete, and Marie and Patch can attest to this, I've never met someone so dedicated, so driven, so committed to the process, so passionate. And as a human, I've never come across anyone so thoughtful, so compassionate, so generous. And it's easy to see how you captivate audiences. And it's so easy to understand how everyone in this room, everyone in these communities, has grown to love and adore you. So. <laughs> Giving back to the London Abuse Women's Center here in London is so necessary, it's so needed. You are on the front lines making a difference in the lives of so many people. Thank you for your contributions to this community. Thank you for being the safe place for so many women and children in need. We, we all applaud you. I still get congratulatory cards from some of my public school teachers from here in London. I get emails and phone calls and text messages from people who have made their mark on, on my career over the years. And that's everyone from my first dance teacher, um, my neighbor on the street growing up, um, it's my brother's friend who held me as a baby and then gave me his beer after we finished competing in Pyeongchang. <laughs> this room is full of so many people who have really made it easy to be thankful, made it easy to take center ice and not feel alone. Thank you to my family. You guys are the best. And I can't wait to celebrate with you and uh, like we always do with the dance party probably. Um, but it's your, your sacrifice, your love and your patience, <laughs> understanding and generosity. Um, I'll continue on <laughs> later at home. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you everyone for, for being here. I hope, I hope this symbolizes the journey of hard work and something we've been talking a lot about lately, just the fulfillment in, in that, in the process, not just the medals and the success, but what it takes to get there. And I hope this sets an example. <laughs> Tess and Scott, congratulations to you both. Tessa, this is your town. Scotty, Ilderton is your town. Uh, a wise man once said to me, the wisest man I know is my dad. He said, um, uh, never forget where you come from. And both of you never forgot. Sorry. Because, you know, everywhere you go, people say Tessa Virtue, Scott Moyer, Scott Moyer. Tessa Virtue, you know you've made it when you just go by your first name. Tessa and Scott, Scott and Tessa. You not only represented your cities, your country, your towns, uh, you represented us. Thank you for being not just good people, being amazing people. Thank you. I know you thank Canada, but we thank you. Congratulations to your stars in your hometown. You never forgot where you came from, ever.
So thank you to the mayors, uh, both for allowing us into your towns today. Jeffrey, uh, Canada's Walk of Fame does an amazing job celebrating what makes us all special, being Canadian. There's nothing like it in the world. It's great to be Canadian. I know we have a party going on here, correct? Reception right here. Everybody can take a little artifact home with them from the museum. Is that right? No, okay, maybe not. Uh, Tess and Scott are here. Give them a hug. Give these two great Canadians a hug. Back home again, hometown stars. Thanks, you guys.